Twin Sisters Digital Media presents Sammy the Steamroller, written by Eugene Bradley Coco, illustrated by Mark Samuels. Sammy the Steamroller. Sammy the Steamroller was fast asleep in the garage, dreaming about rolling over long roads and wide streets, making them as smooth as could be when Engineer Bob rang the morning bell. It's time to wake up, he called. We have a job to do. Is it morning already? sighed Connie the Crane. I was having such a nice dream. Me too, added Dan the Drill as he let out a great big yawn. I wish I could go back to sleep. All of the other machines in the garage like to sleep better than they like to work. But not Sammy. He loved going to work. That was his favorite thing to do. Engineer Bob smiled. You're always first, Sammy, he said, as Sammy's roller shined brightly in the morning sun. But your job comes last. You'll have to go to the back of the line. That's right, Sammy, said Bill the Bulldozer as he chugged out a big puff of smoke. Now move along. Sadly, Sammy went to the back of the line and watched as the other machines moved ahead of him. Then Engineer Bob climbed aboard Charlie the Cement Mixer and, with the other machines behind him, made his way through town to Main Street. We have a lot of work ahead of us, said Bob. It's our job to make Main Street look like new again. So everyone, get to work. And everyone did, except for Sammy, who had nothing to do but watch as all of the other machines got started doing their jobs. Need any help, Dan? Asked Sammy as Dan the Drill busily went about drilling up big piles of rock and cement. You can't help me, he laughed. You're only a steamroller. All you do is roll back and forth while I spend my time digging up the big pieces of rock. I don't have time to talk to you now. I have work to do. All I wanted to do was help, sighed Sammy, as he made his way over to Connie the Crane. Want me to help lift some of those big rocks for you? asked Sammy. Who said that? asked Connie as she lifted a chunk of cement high in the sky. Oh, it's only you, Sammy. What are you doing here? This is no place for a steamroller. Move out of the way before you get hurt. Sammy quickly moved out of her way. At the other end of Main Street was Bill the Bulldozer. Sammy thought that he might need some help. What are you doing, Bill? asked Sammy as he rolled on by. I was trying to knock down some of these old buildings so that we can make Main Street a little wider, said Bill, who was a bit out of breath from all the work he was doing. But I can't do that if I stand here talking to you. And with that, Bill pushed on, leaving Sammy standing by himself, wondering what to do. Down the street a bit, Sammy heard Charlie the cement mixer. Maybe he needs some help, thought Sammy. Engineer Bob had made neat piles of cement to put into Charlie's mixer. Sammy tried his best to pick up some of the piles, but all he did was make a giant mess of things. Now look what you've done, cried Charlie. You've ruined everything. Well, that won't happen anymore, sighed Sammy as he sadly rolled away from Charlie and all of the other machines. I'm not staying where I'm not wanted. It was almost evening when Engineer Bob blew his whistle. Great job, everyone, he called as all of the machines gathered around him. There's only one thing left to do, and we need Sammy to do it. But when Engineer Bob looked around, he didn't see Sammy. I wonder where he could be, he said. It's not like Sammy to leave a job. He was here just a minute ago, said Connie the Crane. I saw him rolling off towards the garage, said Dan the Drill. 
With all of the machines behind him, Engineer Bob raced back to the garage. When he got there, he saw Sammy sitting by himself, wiping the tears from his eyes. I guess you're all done with the job, sniffled Sammy. Not yet, said Engineer Bob. We still have the most important part left to do. The ground is clear, the cement is down, now all we need is someone to smooth out the road. That's my job, shouted Sammy as the other machines got in line behind him. That's right, added Charlie, so lead the way. In no time at all, Sammy was back on Main Street, happily smoothing out the road. When he was done, Engineer Bob painted a line down the middle. That night, Sammy went to sleep with a smile on his face, knowing that though his job may be the last one to be done, it's just as important as all of the others.